GHKCU, AKA the copper peptide. The peptide your favorite skincare influencer swears can turn you into the love child of Ryan Gosling and Jake Gyllenhaal. Spoiler alert, probably not, but let's dive in anyway. So what exactly is GHKCU? Discovered back in 1973, GHKCU is a naturally occurring peptide complex made of glycine, histidine, and lysine. That's the GHK, combined with copper. Originally found in human plasma, it quickly gained attention for its powerful regenerative and anti-aging effects on skin and connective tissues. So why is everybody suddenly hyping it up now in 2025? Biochemically, GHKCU works by stimulating collagen production, promoting wound healing, and increasing antioxidant activity in your skin. It's been studied extensively for anti-aging, scar reduction, hair growth, and overall skin health. And yes, there's even research suggesting it might improve skin firmness, elasticity, and reduce wrinkles. Maybe it does help you get halfway to Gosling status. God knows I need all the help I can get. Clinical data has shown promising results, especially for skin regeneration and wound healing. Topical applications have demonstrated reduced inflammation, improved skin texture, and even some effectiveness in stimulating hair growth. But keep expectations in check. These results are solid, but subtle, not magical transformations. In recent years, biohackers have started experimenting with injectable GHKCU, aiming for broader systemic effects, joint and connective tissue repair, anti-aging benefits, and overall wellness. While intriguing, the injectable form doesn't have extensive human clinical data yet, and sourcing it is mostly from unregulated peptide suppliers online, so purity and quality can be questionable. Safety-wise, topical GHKCU appears quite safe, with minimal side effects reported. However, injecting any peptide, especially one with copper, comes with uncertainty and potential risks. Long-term safety profiles for injectable use remain largely unknown. Bottom line. GHKCU shows legitimate promise as a skin rejuvenating anti-aging peptide, particularly when used topically, but injecting it is still experimental territory. If you're looking for your Gosling and Gyllenhaal level attractiveness, unfortunately, that's probably more good genetics, good lighting, and a lot of plastic surgery, not peptides. But that's GHKCU, legit anti-aging potential, promising skincare peptide, questionable injectable safety. Proceed informed and maybe lower your celebrity crest expectations just a little bit.